Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. So, putting stuff away because I just did the weekly. I gotta try to throw down for Leo before I go to the bread and butter job today. And yes, I still, still do my bread and butter job despite the arthritis because that's the one that pays my bills. <laughs> to be honest with you, that's the one. It doesn't matter how crappy I feel. Um, if they choose to send me home, I go. But usually that it's not an option. I just, I gotta go. So, okay. And the reason I'm doing this on a Wednesday and is not posting until Thursday, because I try to do at least one post a day, if at all humanly possible. And, you know, sometimes I read ahead, you know. We all do it at some point. We bank, we all bank readings. <laughs> at least I, I'm pretty sure we do. I have to take my car to the garage on Thursday. I don't know how long I'm going to be there. So that way you guys get something. So mm, this reading will be for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. You can mess with the cards if you choose to do anything at all. I'm sure you're not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check the moon, rising, and Venus and readings. If you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher and our dear friends, cross watchers are always welcome at the fire sign tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table and appreciate everybody stopping by. I really do. If you're new here, think we might vibe and get along and stuff. Ooh, that's split at temperance and the emperor. Mm. Sorry, I just had to make note of that. If you're new here think we might vibe and stuff, you can hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Hit the like button while you're down there. That'd be super cool of you. If you're returning, thanks for stopping back by. I miss your face. I'm glad you're here. Anybody can hit that like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the video be circulated to those who might need the message. So, saying one more shuffle. So, Leo, we're going to do one more shuffle for round two. Then I think we're going to get started. Hmm. Okay. Hey guys, I'm fighting it. I'm hurting today, and I just realized I'm naked, so. <laughs> I took my jewelry off. Whoops. Hold up. I'm going to get this out while I'm at it. Why not? <sighs> Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November Round 2. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. And I ask that you help me use it to bring Leo to their highest possible spiritual good and put him on their highest possible spiritual path. What's going on, Leo? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> what are we not ending? What? What? All right. Okay. <laughs> What's your strength? Page of Wands. That's telling me no matter what comes across your path, you're trucking forward. I'll get a clarifier if I need it. What's your weakness? Five of Cups. Uh, you lay in it. You're laying in it. You're trucking forward, but you're laying in it. Oh, okay. What do you want? Three of Cups reversed. No. You want to be able to disconnect from something. Okay. What's got to go? The Queen of Wands. Oh. Could be another fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, or another Leo. Huh. <coughs> What's coming in? Seven of Cups reversed confusion. Mm. What do you gotta do? Heal the star card. Alright, give me an outcome. Eight of Pentacles reversed, no longer putting effort or energy into a situation. Huh? Bottom of the deck, the full reversed. There's something you don't trust about this. There's something you do not trust. Mm. Oh, 
or whoever, whatever this Queen of Wands is, is preventing you from going down the path you're supposed to go down. Oh God, do I dare get clarity? Oh gosh, okay. I gotta get a little bit, just a little. Thank you, it's speaking for itself, but I need just a little, just a little. All right, yeah, you're trucking forward, but the page is childlike energy. So you're trucking forward with a childlike curiosity, possibly, and that can be a strength at times, but yeah. Talk to me about this page. Page of Wands in the reverse. Mmm. Mmm. And that's where it becomes a weakness. It prevents you from moving forward. Oh. Knight of Pentacles. But. Mm, it's forced you to slow down. You're taking your time with whatever you're walking into. You're taking your time. I feel like a lesson has been learned here. You're growing up. You're maturing. I like it, Leo. I like it. Some of you could have earth in your charts. <clears throat> What's the five of cups all about? What's the five of cups all about? There's sadness, there's an unacknowledged connection. Perhaps you didn't get picked. It's a strong pull. You still feel a strong pull to somebody even if they don't feel it. Six of Cups, somebody you've been kicking it with for a minute, possibly through, through the ages. This could be like soul contract shit, guys. It could be someone you have children with. Somebody you've been kicking it with for a long time and I think you're still kind of laying in that sadness a little bit. That's why the sun's not shining. But you got to heal. I feel like you want to disconnect from it. Give me one on this three of cups reversed. One on this three of cups reversed for Leo. One on this three of cups reversed for Leo. Ten of cups. You want happiness. But there's something you got to disconnect from. Magician reversed. You're being manipulated. This could be someone you have children with. Somebody who plays the family card. Ten of swords reversed. I, this shit don't... Guys, I ain't lying. Someone is preventing the sun from shining in your life. Someone is emotionally manipulating you. Someone is keeping you stuck. <sighs> Be the male or female. It, it's a queen on the card. It's a woman on a horse. We're, we're going to refer to her as she. If it's a he, okay. Insert whatever pronoun works for you. Right now it's a she. Tell me about this queen of wands. Because she's what's got to go. Talk to me about the queen of wands. Five of Pentacles, you miss her. Okay, you miss her. Okay, you miss her. She probably left you out in the cold. It 
Eight of Pentacles reversed, but you stop putting work and effort into it, or they stop putting work and effort into it. But she knows what she wants and she gets it. And I think she's still got a hold on you. Ace of Wands. Keep trying to light that match. Keep trying to light that match. Somebody keeps trying to light your match. Six of Pentacles. And I think you keep matching that energy. I think y'all be lighting each other's matches. I ain't throwing shade. I ain't trying not to point fingers. This is the problem. The feelings are equal. Neither one of you are putting any energy or effort into it, but you both want to. I don't know why, because they don't make the sunshine in your life. You want happiness. You want to be able to disconnect from this. They keep emotionally manipulating you. One more. It wants reversed. You know it ain't going to go nowhere. Communication could be on and off. Maybe they come a trucking in when they want something. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Mm, 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 mm. All right, talk to me about this star card. Talk me, oh. We'll talk about this in a second. Talk to me about this star card. Then we'll address the seven of cups reversed. Talk to me about this star card. This one. Oh gosh. I saw it in the upright. Knight of Wands. Knight of Swords. Two of the fastest knights. The two fastest knights. I think I know why y'all been in each other's lives. In and out all the time. You got to heal from this. You got to let go of this. Because y'all in and out of each other's lives all the time. This has been very stop and go, hasn't it? You got to heal from this. Give me one more on that. Feel like they come in, they get what they want, you get what you want, they go. They come in, say what you want to hear, you say what they want to hear, they go. You got to heal from that. It's keeping you stuck. Star, I, I'm not beating a dead horse. Star came out. You got to heal. Talking about the Seven of Cups reverse that's coming in. This is confusion. Four of Cups, Four of Cups, Four of Cups. You want my cup? Do you want my cup? You're contemplating. You're going to contemplate it. Mm. Emperor. I feel like you're going to take control back. That's a man who knows what he wants right there. That's a man seated in his throne. Queen of Wands. Oh, snap. He's looking away from the Queen of Wands. He's not facing her. He's looking away from her. She gonna come back and try to get it again. She gonna come back and try to offer you a cup. I don't think you're gonna take it. You're looking in the opposite direction. You're embracing the emperor energy and you are looking in the opposite direction. Just like 
just like you're looking away from her cup. Because she's coming in to confuse you. Because you know you need to heal. She knows you're growing up. She knows that you're sad because she's rejected you in the past. And she knows that you want to disconnect from this. She doesn't want to let you. She's got a hold on you. She's got a grip on you. You got to heal. You have to heal. The star has fallen. Sorry. The star comes after the tower. It's shown up twice. The star comes after the tower. The tower has fallen, I feel like, at least once in this scenario. And you've risen up out of it at least once. I think it's fallen more than that. Because the Ten of Swords reversed also showed up twice. I think they're an extremely manipulative person. Possibly a little narcissistic. They could be into black magic. I don't know. I don't know. But they screw with your head, and I think they enjoy it. I don't think you trust them. Oh, look at that. That's two of cups. You could have something new coming in. And she doesn't want that. She doesn't want that new start and clarity to happen for you. Because she doesn't want to be cut out. She wants to remain the center of your universe. Even though she's just going to reject you again. Do I need to keep going, Leo? I could. Oh, oh, high priestess, you got to use your intuition. Go with your gut. What you got telling you to do? Not your head. Not your heart. Not your pants. Your gut. Mm. Set those aside. This King of Pentacles. This is a larger, large and in charge dude. Oh yeah. There's something to offer. I think that's what the Queen of Wands keeps wanting to chase. I think this, this has, may have to do with money. Seven of Wands is at the bottom of the deck now. The King of Wands. They just keep coming back, wanting to reclaim what they think is theirs. And I think you keep letting it happen. But the sun needs to shine again in your life, and there's only one way to do that. You got to heal. You got to heal. You got to say enough is enough, and you got to heal. I need one more on this. I need one more. Take your power back, Leo. King. Six of Wands. Take your power back. If the blow-up's got to happen, let it happen. You'll come out on top. Take your power back. Eight of Pentacles reversed. One in this Eight of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Swords. Don't put energy into it. Don't put one more ounce of energy into it. Cut it out. Take your power back. That means you got to get a little bit of a tood. Get a little bit of a tood. One more. One more. Three of Cups. That's happiness, joy, and bliss. A reunion with self. Three of Pentacles. Building the foundations of what you want to be built. Strength. There is your card, Leo. Mustering the strength. Because sometimes it takes more strength to walk away than it is to stay. Sometimes it takes more strength to let go than it does to hang on.
Tame the beast, Leo. Tame the beast. Tame the be- Oh, gosh! It's both your cards. I'll be damned. It's both your cards. It's both your cards. That's a powerful message. I like that. I like that. I'm so glad I sat down for this. I'm so glad. All right, let's get an oracle. I need a wisdom oracle for Leo. The tribe. Okay. Okay, I'll bite the tribe. <clears throat> Number eight. Oh! It's the eight. It's the eight. That's awesome. Okay, this... This card signals a new affiliation with a group. Humans are social creatures. We need to know we are useful to our tribes, families, and communities. In a tribe, everyone has an important function and feels, I matter. Membership in a group provides a sense of belonging, of kinship, and of purpose that comes from working together for a greater fulfillment of all. Perhaps you're a part of a spiritual community or an artistic one. Perhaps you are in a learning community where you share your love of education. Regardless of its form or focus, your community brings you joy. You will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it. Your contribution may be as small as showing up or as large as becoming its leader. No matter your position in the tribe, your presence is needed. I think somebody's trying to pull you out of your tribe. Okay. All right, Leo. That was, that was beautiful. Oh my God, that was beautiful. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take care. Know that you loved. Be blessed. Have one hell of a rest of your November. And I'll catch you guys in your next reading.